profile of some successful entrepreneurs. Dr. Pratap Reddy, he developed India's first hospital group, the Apollo Hospitals. He revolutionized India's whole health care sector and today it has over 750 corporate hospitals on modern lines throughout the country. The idea came to Dr. Reddy, when a patient, who could not make it to go to Texas in America for open heart surgery. Dr. Reddy created a medical infrastructure in India which made medical care more affordable and accessible for everyone. Ayesh Goyal He is the founder and chairman of Jet Airways. It is India's largest domestic airlines under private sector. After his graduation he worked in a travel business. By 1974 Goyal started to look after sales and marketing of foreign airlines in India. In 1917, Goyal took advantage of the open sky policy of Indian government and set up Jet Airways for operation of scheduled air service for domestic flights in India. Naran Murthy he is one of the founders of Infosys Technologies Limited, in 1999. Infosys became the first Indian company to be listed on NASDAQ, National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotations. By 2006, the company employed over 50,000 people and had a turnover of $2 billion. Murthy has always believed that honesty, transparency and moral integrity are the key factors for the success. Vaghese Karin, he is the renowned Indian social entrepreneur and is best known as the father of the white revolution for his millions of litres of milk flow. Karin was the leading personality in agricultural development program. Amul Milk and Milk Products is the achievement of Curian. He established a small-scale Anan Milk Dairy in Karo District in Gujarat State and now it is the largest dairy development enterprise in India. Dhirubhai Ambani he was the most enterprising Indian entrepreneur. His life journey is reminiscent of the rags to riches story. He is remembered as the one who rewrote Indian corporate history and built a truly global corporate group. Dairabhai Ambani alias Dirul Hirakan Ambani's father was a school teacher. Dairubai Ambani started his entrepreneurial career by selling bhajan books to pilgrims in Mount Gurna during the weekends. After doing his matriculation at the age of 16 Dairabhai moved to Aden in Africa. He worked there as a gas station attendant and as a clerk in an oil company. He returned to India in 1958 with RS5,000 and set up a textile trading company. His business had diversified into a core specialization in petrochemicals with additional interests in telecommunications, information technology, energy, power, retail textiles, infrastructure services, capital markets and logistics. His business had diversified into a core specialization in petrochemicals with additional interests in telecommunications, information technology, energy, power, retail textiles, infrastructure services, capital markets and logistics. The Reliance Company which is started by him is one of the important entrepreneurships in the world.
Azim Premji. He is the chairman of Wipro Technologies which is one of the largest software companies in India. Azim Premji. When he was a student Premji was summoned home due to the death of his father. During the annual general body meeting, one of the shareholders advised Premji to sell his shares. This made Premji more determined to make his company a successful enterprise. Today Wipro Technologies is the largest independent research and development R&D provider. It took for she is known as the queen of Indian television sector. She is the creative director of Balaji Tel Films and was awarded the Best Entrepreneur of the Year 2001 by the Ernest Young. At 19 she ventured into TV production arena. Kiran Mazam Shah she is the chairman and managing director of Biocon Limited, the largest biotechnology company in India. She started Biocon in 1978 in a rented garage, faced with a variety of problems and challenges because biotechnology was a new field and a woman entrepreneur promoted such an enterprise was very rare. She started Biocon in 1978 in a rented garage, faced with a variety of problems and challenges because biotechnology was a new field and a woman entrepreneur promoted such an enterprise was very rare. She crossed over all entrepreneurial barriers and made Biocon a success.